Hello students and learners, welcome to the Brainbox Tutorials. I am your teacher Priyanka and today we will discuss English specimen question paper of ICSE semester 2 examination. We will also discuss the exam pattern. So let us discuss the pattern of the exam first. Maximum marks for the paper is 40 and time allowed will be one and a half hours. Let us see how the marks are distributed on the questions. So question number one will be composition writing that will be for 20 marks. Uh, five options are given. We will have to write composition on any one. Then question number two is letter writing one uh, formal and one informal. Any one you will have to write that is for 10 marks. Then question number three two parts are there and you will have to attempt both the parts. One is notice writing and next one is email writing. So that will carry 5, 5 marks each. So 5, 5, 10, 10, 20 and 25 marks for this composition. So total of 40 marks. Guys, before we start with the detailed discussion of English 1 specimen question paper, let me recommend you one very useful book. This is Educart's final guidebook for semester 2 for all the ICSE class 10 students. This is volume 1 which includes 4 subjects, history and civics, geography, English paper 1 and English paper 2. For each of the subjects you will get simplified theory of all the chapters which are coming in syllabus. Then last 10 years chapter wise relevant questions will be there. Practice questions will also be there according to new pattern which will include MCQ based question, objective and subjective questions also for 30 marks. And sample papers are also there. 5 sample papers for each subject in which 3, sub three papers will be solved and 2 papers will be unsolved. It will be for self assessment but a QR code will be there and with that QR code you can scan the answers in PDF form. Guys I have gone through this book and I found it very useful. So the link to purchase this particular book is in the description. Please go through this book and if you like it, do purchase. Now let us discuss the paper. So question number one, it is composition writing. Write a composition 300 to 350 words on any one of the following. Number one is imagine a situation where a child runs away from home but later returns. Why did he or she run away? What made him or her come back? Write an original short story entitled Finding My Way Home. So this is short story writing uh, in 300 to 350 words. The title is also given Finding My Way Home. So you will have to write an original short story remember. So you cannot copy any story from anywhere or uh, any of your textbook. You will have to create uh, the story from your imagination. If you try to attempt this particular short story, first make an outline, think of an outline of a storyline that what could be the reason why child is uh, running away from the home, what is the problem with him or her and then uh, why does he come back, what happens, how he come back. So if you can think of a good reason uh, or if you can think of a good storyline, then you must attempt this one. Next one, second one is parents can never be friends with their children. Express your views either for or against the statement. So this is argumentative essay. This is just like a debate competition, whether you are either for the motion or against the motion. You cannot write both the advantages and disadvantages of this particular statement. So if you are for the statement, write properly that yes, I am for this statement or if you are against this statement, write that I am against this statement and then start with the introduction. Give at least three reasons, at least three reasons why you, you are for or against this statement. For example, if anybody thinks of writing for this statement, so they can give one reason that uh, parents 
should have authority over their children and that authority can properly be established because they will have to uh, take every decision of their child because their child uh, their child is not so mature and experienced as they are because they have years of experience so that is why if they become their friends their authority will be lost their privacy will be lost and children may not listen to the parents because of over friendliness so these are few reasons then you can add on if you uh, have some other points also in your mind so that way you can write then can give an, a conclusion that that is why you are for this statement that parents can never be friends if you are against the statement you can give uh, some reasons like if parents are friends with their children then they can get any information they want to they can properly assess the mental condition of their child also children can never go against them or can never do anything wrong hiding something from their parents so this way you can write either for or against this statement but don't write both the points remember now third one describe an area in your city or hometown which is famous for its street food give details of the familiar sights and sounds you would experience on this street so first think of uh, your city or hometown and which street food you like or which particular street is famous you can describe that particular area and also the auditory and visual imagery which are very important because this is a descriptive essay so every kind of description is necessary there that what do you see how do you feel there what kind of sounds are coming Uh, sounds of vehicle sounds of people children etc okay number 4 it is very important for young people to spend time quietly or alone for a short while every day if you were given an hour to spend on your own how will you spend it what will you learn from the process now this is very interesting topic yes it is very important for young people to spend uh some time alone that is for their introspection which we call me time but that hour can be spent in nature or meditation yoga any kind of physical exercise or some kinds of activities which cools your cools and calms your mind and energizes your body an introspection of your pros and cons how to deal with a particular situation what are you doing where are you going whatever you are doing whether it is correct or not anything which you want to think about alone quietly that you can write here okay number 5th is picture composition so you will have to write a composition or a short story based on this particular picture it is written study the picture given below write a short story or description or an account of what the picture suggests to you your composition may be about the subject of the picture or you may take suggestions from it so what do we see in the picture that uh, there are many children sitting so a group of children is there they may be siblings so you can write about the goodness of joint family where many kids are there and they play and the love and the fun laughter frolic together or a group of friends so a person is reminiscing about his past how he used to have fun with all his friends or her friends and how he or she misses now because now there are so many responsibilities his office works and all so if you feel you can write a composition or a story based on this particular picture you must attempt it now moving on to question number 2 this is letter writing uh, it is written select any one of the following so two letters are there number 1 you have been given a small sum of money 
to buy a gift with for a friend what gift would you choose specify and why would you choose this write a letter to your, to your friend telling him or her about the gift and how it will benefit him or her so this is an informal letter so remember in letter writing you should remember the format of the letter whether you try to attempt uh, in an informal or a formal letter but the format of the letter is very important then uh, you can think of any gift which is useful for your friend it may be a smartphone it may be a wrist watch it may be a good book and then you will have to write to him about the gift that that why it is useful for him or her then second number is a formal letter you have planned to organize a health camp at school write a letter to the manager of a supermarket requesting sponsorship for the event name the event and explain how it will benefit both the community as well as the supermarket now here this is a formal letter you are writing uh, this letter to the manager of a supermarket uh, the event can be like looking at the present circumstances it can be a vaccination camp so name the event like this something like vaccination for everyone or vaccine for all because it is a formal letter so the content of the letter will be less and to the point so remember whatever has been instructed to write that is you will have to name the event and explain how this event is going to benefit both the community as well as the supermarket these are mentioned these are instructions so you will have to follow this you will have to include this in your letter question number 3 part 1 is notice writing the topic is you are the president of the school science club you and your team are planning to organize a creative mask making event using renewable materials write a notice to be put on the school notice board giving details of the event so remember the format of the notice writing name of the event will be there then date time venue and then in short you will have to write that what is this mask making event and the other details regarding the participation this will carry 5 marks now number 2 is email writing write an email to the general manager of a local hospital requesting him or her to send a senior doctor to talk to the participants at the event about the quality of mask which would give them the best protection and this also carries 5 marks now in email also because you are writing this to a general manager of a local hospital so it will be formal email it will be short to the point where you are talking about the event and the date time venue everything and also what task the senior doctor will have to do there and then thanking them so this will be very crisp and short if you want to see the answers of all these questions in this paper you can purchase that book which i have just mentioned educart book volume 1 where you will get the solution of this particular specimen question guys as i have also. told see in this book which is educart final guide book volume 1 you will get the solution to this particular specimen question paper see here english language icse specimen paper semester 2 is solved let us see this is in page 89 see this is the same question paper same picture composition questions are here and the answers are also written in proper format i have gone through all the answers written these are in proper format in proper grammar i hope you have liked this particular video and if you have liked it don't forget to hit the like button and also share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel i will bring more useful video in the coming time until then keep practicing keep preparing bye bye jai hind